and welcome to Kitchen Counter Crafts. If you like this video, would you please like, comment, share, and subscribe, and hit the bell icon so you can see new videos. My crafting is in full swing, and I have a brown paper bag to thank for it. So I re received uh, from a neighbor actually a uh, just some items in a in a very nice brown, plain brown paper sack. And I was pretty excited because a lot of times the grocery sacks will have, you know, printing on them and things like that. But this one did not. So I cut it all up and decided to do something that I've really been wanting to do. And that is just brown, um, like craft paper art. So let me just show you what I've been doing. And then we can kind of move from there. So... This is just white paint and gold paint. That's it. So uh, these are going to be tiny little cards or booklets. And what I did was this is the sides of the bag. I'm trying to see if I have some more. But I just drew some, some actually very shabby little flowers and then painted them with white and smattering of gold and just did the same thing here and here and here and just trying out a little bit of different things and these i'm just gonna i'm gonna cut um on here so so each these open up and i'm not sure if i'm just gonna keep it this way or maybe i will just i don't know maybe even make them straight or even sew and make pockets which would be so cute and have a tag in there um, so these are kind of like poppies, but poppies are not white. Um, are they? No, they're usually red. And then just, again, some really like quickly drawn flowers and very, very, very simple. So let's go ahead and start on um, doing a few of these. This is the bottom of the sack and I didn't quite know what to do with it, so... I still don't know what to do with it. Okay, there it goes. All right, and then um, this is the side of a bag. So I'm going to, again, just, uh, will this cut? That'll cut on my paper trimmer. Let's go ahead and do that. I don't know about you, but there is something kind of magical if you will, about painting with white paint on a dark background. So I love, love black on what, uh, white paint on black. I, I do love that look as well. I'm gonna use this end because I like that, that um, kind of side there. Okay, um, we're gonna draw these. And then what I'm also going to show you is we had a birthday party last night with my women's group and um, somebody brought cake and so I'm gonna try not to blind you but this is just a plastic container and I you know it's one of those clamshell that the cakes in and I washed it dried it and then I cut off the bottom just to save time and uh, here's that piece of it the bottom part and then I want to show you on the edges I still cut out a rectangle. Uh, now, this is what it ended up being. So just a little piece of um, nothing, really, that you're gonna throw into the trash. And so what I'm also going to do is make some flowers. Now, you know, while you can use a Sharpie on the paper bag, I actually use my fountain pens to draw with, but on the plastic, you can't quite do that. So. I really like that kind of poppy-ish look. So uh, for a poppy, you just kind of, oh, you can't see a darn thing, can you? All right, so you, no, you can't, still can't see it. All right, so there's a, a triangle upside down right there. And then what you do is you're just going to kind of jagged edge. And I do usually three big ones and then like a little, ones on this side so you can hopefully see that and then a long stem and I don't really have much room for anything else so I'll just add I don't know what a poppy leaf looks like so we're just gonna add kind of this type of a crazy looking leaf there we go how's that 
Uh, so there's my, my poppy. And again, that's just the side of the container, but I am also going to paint these guys with some gold and some white paint. So this is just Apple Barrel Hobby Lobby paint. This is something I've had forever and a day and it lasts forever. And what I do is I shake the bottles and then I use what's in the cap. That way I don't even have to get a palette out because that is just lazy girl's guide to crafting. And then I'm going to use my Twisby Eco that has platinum carbon black. I don't know if that matters to you. It does not matter other than that is the ink that I'm using. You can use a Sharpie. You can even use a pencil if you'd like. Although I really do encourage you to use um, maybe a, a black pen. It could be any any pen will work. It's just a grocery bag, people. So just you can um, just make a messy flower. So that is a very, very messy. And I just add some lines in here, kind of like that. Um, I make my center line go up a bit more than the side ones. And then a, you don't have to even put a line down if you want, don't want to, but I usually do. And we'll make another smaller one here. And again, the center gets more of a billing and you can just tell these are really, really very messy ones. And we're just going to add a leaf and add another leaf. Okay. I think that's good. So, well, I don't like that there. It was looking like it was walking with like two legs. I don't want to have my flower walking. All right, so I'm going to use just white paint first and then watch how just the paint transforms the whole drawing. It's, it's quite amazing. I think it's wonderful. And this is just, again, just white craft paint. And it doesn't have to be white. You can use whatever you'd like. But I just find that white is uh, useful because you can use this for ephemera, for any junk journal. And then you have that kind of brownish, whitish, goldish look that'll go with any color journal or anything that you're trying to do. And since I drew a flower that kind of looks the same here, I'm just going to add white paint to this as well. And this is acrylic paint, so it does great on plastic. It's not gonna be peeling off. Look at how wonderful that is. Isn't that just great just to even put that in a junk journal, just a painted flower? Love it. So I didn't even rinse the brush off. I just added in the gold. Once you put the gold in, it just elevates the whole painting because it's gold. So it just, I don't know, just adds that thing that is missing. And so, um, there we go. How about that? Now I'm going to just punch a hole and you can use an awl or just even a needle um, or, a, you know, just whatever you have handy that's sharp. Uh, if you don't have an awl, I suggest you get one. They're very, very cheap, just a couple bucks and they, I'm literally poking holes in everything. It's fantastic. You, if you have a belt that needs um, a hole poked in it, it's, I mean, you can use it for anything. So that's it, there you go. That is made from trash, literally. So anyway, so that's the side of the box and I'm gonna just show you how I, I do that because um, Oh, yes, I was painting flowers. So with this, I just go like this. That's the side of the box. Oh, you can't see anything, can you? No, you can't. Okay. 
This is the bottom part of it. Ugh, come off. These are just awful scissors, um, but I use them to cut up boxes so that I don't have to destroy my other ones. And this has like a weird thing going on here. You can even cut it as a semicircle, but I'm just going to cut it like this. And it has a beveled edge, which I do not like that. So I'm gonna just cut around that. And that's it. So just a little piece of plastic. So I've got my other one going on here too. So, oh, I have gold paint. You know what, maybe this poppy will be gold. There I go. I don't know, I mean, it looks great with gold, but I think I might still want some white on the edges. Look at that, look how great that is for ephemera. Anyway, okay, so there's my uh, poppy, and then this is dry now. So you can cut around it, and you can just make it a single thing, you can stitch around it, you can do whatever you'd like, and you can just continue on. Maybe you wanna, I don't know, if you even wanna draw freehand um, some flowers. I usually think that having a black edge uh, just makes everything look crisper and better. But if you don't want that and you just want something just more plain, then you can just do this and really any flower is a triangle shape and you can just even put your brush like this for five and a six and have it be like that. I just kind of like it to be a little bit more triangular instead of just straight because that looks like a rectangle. So we're gonna just not, not make it perfect, right? We don't need it perfect. And then a touch of gold. And you can even put some gold dots around that. And then that's just a you know two colored thing. You can just add it in there. Um, if you wanna draw like a bird or something instead, you could totally do that. But I just think um, oh, I just touched this. All right, well, we'll add some more dots around this since I just touched it. I kind of like that look to it. That was a total accident, but it, it works, it's fine. Um, so coming back to these, I think it's just so much easier to um, just sit down you can even watch tv while you're doing this and just crank out a few of these i mean they would just be so adorable tucked in and like i said it doesn't have to be leaves it can be you can draw like feathers or uh, i don't know you can draw the alphabet you can just even put whatever else into it um, that you can think of uh, if you don't paint uh, you can stencil and uh, Tim Holtz has some great stencils that you can use and you can, you know, make make something just look really amazing out of a grocery sack. So that is all I have for you today. And that is um, just what I'm doing right now. And that is turning a takeout box into ephemera and a grocery sack into ephemera. So um, with that, um, I'm gonna be working on some junk journals coming up. And um, just like I said, if you wanna subscribe and get notified of new videos, that would be wonderful. And until next time, bye.